I know it as ping pong, but the fierce competitors at the Rhode Island Table Tennis Association in Manville refer to it by its true name, table tennis. In other countries like China, Germany, Romania, and Sweden, top table tennis athletes can command big figure paydays. Here, the sport is not nearly as revered. However, the U.S. Olympic trials are in Pittsburgh this month, and Rhode Islander Richard Bowling one of the state's top players is there to pursue his dream. In January, I'm going to be participating in the qualifying tournament for the U.S. Olympic teams. The United States doesn't have their own Olympic teams, so you go to the qualifying trials, then you go to the U.S. trials and the North American trials. Finally, a North American team is put together. So my goal in, in preparing in the qualifying tournament is basically just to compete, be able to compete against some of the top players. I want to be there and just do my best and let them know that this is somebody who's, you know, putting all their effort into it. So this is a basic uh, backhand shot. So table tennis is, uh, is all about, first about consistency and learning the basic form. So. You want to learn to be consistent first. Then you also want to learn how to move your feet. I started playing table tennis in uh, 19, I think, 77 uh, with my uh, father. My father introduced me to the sport when I was, uh, I don't know, maybe 11, 11 or so. I started out playing tennis, and I found table tennis to be a lot more fun. It's a lot more, has a lot more strategy. Hand-eye coordination uh, takes a certain amount of foot speed, balance. Um, it's, it's really about being aware of, your, uh, of the player, where the player is, where the ball is, where you are. So it's kind of like um, coordinating a, a few things at one time, watching the ball, watching the player. Um, there's a lot of strategy involved in knowing where to place the ball and table, combinations of shots. So some basic exercises that we do in table tennis is footwork drills. You know, in table tennis, we train for form. Uh, consistency and footwork. In my uh, spare time at home, I do, I do push-ups, I lift weights, I do a lot of shadow footwork training, similar to what shadow boxers do, but with, with table tennis strokes and movements, so I do that. So the loop shot is a shot where you let the ball drop and then you come onto the top of the ball, this is a loop shot, and you put a lot of top spin on the ball, and you want to use your whole, your whole body to make the shot happen. So it can be very, pretty tiring after a while. You know, Richard's a great player. Uh, he's one of the few of us that have you know, maybe done that thing that we've all thought about, you know, bailing on work and just taking a shot at something that you really love. After you know, several years of working with some big companies, I decided that um, I had done all that I wanted to do in the corporate world for now. So, um, so it was a tough decision because you know, as an engineer, you're paid uh, you know, pretty well. So it was you know, a matter of streaming down the expenses and. And, uh, and just doing it. Rich is one of the quickest guys that I know and has real control over his body. This is a sport where if you can use your entire body to take full swings, if you can get these big long shots, you, you're really dominant. He is somebody that at his age moves like a cat or like a little kid. My goal is to be the best that I can be in the sport. That's my goal in table tennis. At 17 years old, Richard Bowling and a friend grabbed the Guinness Book of World Records title for the longest table tennis rally, 10 hours and 13 minutes. Our best to Richard and his Olympic pursuit. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. <laughs>